Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn how to deploy Python app using Helm chart on Minikube. Okay, so let's start to deploy Python app using Helm chart on Minikube. Okay, so for that here, we need this prereq site. So first of all, we need a AWS account with Ubuntu 24.04 LTS EC2 instance. Then we need install Minikube, we need to install kubectl and we need to install Helm also. Okay. So as you can see here, I have successfully launched my instance, Ubuntu instance, and I have successfully connected to my terminal. So this is my Ubuntu instance. And in this instance, I have successfully installed Minikube, kubectl and Helm. Okay. So let's start to deploy Python app using Helm chart on Minikube. So for that, first of all, we need to create a e create an image. Okay. So to deploy this Python app. So for that here, in my previous session, I have, uh, so in my previous session, you can see my previous session, there is uh, how to dockerize a Flask application. Okay, so here, first of all, we need to create this Flask application. And after that, we are going to deploy Python app using Helm chart. Okay, so let's start. So first of all, so we need to dockerize a Flask application. So for that, we need to install Python. Then install Python. And after that, if you want to check the details, then you can check the details using this following command. Okay. We have successfully installed Python. Okay. And I have already installed Docker. Okay. Now, it's time to clone the fork repository. Okay. So, I'm going to clone this repository. And if I run the ls command, so I'm going to inside this repository okay then after that the next is we need to run this command and after that we need to install this python win using the following command the command is sudo Okay, then after that, let's activate the environment, okay, using this command. Just a second. For that we are going to run this command okay okay then let's install the requirements using this command pip install r requirements txt so it's installing this okay then Run the application python app.py. Okay, it's activate, right? So I'm going to press control C to quiet. Okay. Now it's a how to build a Docker image. Okay. So let's build a Docker image using following command Docker build tag Python Docker. There are Docker name, uh, sorry, Docker image name is Python Docker. Okay. So let's build a tag. So Docker, sorry, our image name is Python Docker that we are going to deploy. Okay. So first of all, now we are going to create an image with the name Python Docker. So it is built to tag. Okay. 
Yeah, as you can see, it's successfully tagged, it's successfully built. Okay, and our Python uh, image name is Python Docker, and the tag is latest. Okay, then after that, if you want to check the Py uh, Docker images now. So as you can see our image python docker tag latest image id created 18 seconds ago and the time okay that means we are successfully create our python image okay now if you want to run and if you want to check in browser your python image so you can run this command simply okay and if you want to check your Python image, then you can simply copy your instance IP, hit on browser, and the port number is 5000. As you can see, hello from Flask and Doc. That means we have successfully created our Python image with the name Python Docker. Okay. Now it's time to it's time to push this image into our docker okay so how to push so the command is here docker tag then your image name python docker tag is latest and the docker up username devops sent your image name python docker and latest okay so now so sorry before tag and before push we need to log into our docker so how to log in so simply enter the command docker login so enter your username then enter your password as you can see successfully login now successfully tag and success and let's enter the command for push docker image into our repository so as you can see it's pushed okay okay it's done now let's check in docker hub okay okay so this is my docker hub profile if you are i'm going to refresh my docker hub page and now as you can see devops sent python docker and the time is updated a few seconds ago Right, that means we have successfully pushed this image into our Docker Hub. Okay, it's done. Okay, it's done. So we have successfully pushed our Docker image into our Python uh, into our Docker Hub repository. Okay, it's done. Now it's time to deploy Python app using Helm chart on Minikube. Okay, so we have successfully create our image. If I'm going to enter command Docker images. So there is an image, there is an image right here uh, and we have successfully, we have successfully pushed this image into our Docker Hub, right? So that's why we here we have an image. Now let's deploy this image using Helm chart on Minikube, okay? So let's start. So first of all, we need to create a Helm chart for Python app. So let's create Helm chart using the command Helm create and your chart name. So my chart name is Python chart. Okay, it's done. If I run the ls command, there is a chart name. So I'm going to inside my chart. Okay. Now after that, after that, the next step is modify Helm chart files. Which files? Let's modify values.yaml file, deployment.yaml file, service.yaml file. Okay, so we need to modify this helm chart files, values.yaml file, deployment.yaml file, and uh, service.yaml files. Okay, so let's modify. So first of all, we need to open this values.yaml file. So here, if I run the ls command, as you can see, values.yaml file. So first of all, here in values.yaml file, there is changes in two or three places. So first of all, repository. So a repository name here, first of all, your GitHub, uh, sorry, uh, Docker repository. 
so my docker repository name is devops scene and my image name is python docker right as you can see devops in python docker okay why because this is my docker hub username and this is my image name because we are successfully pushed this image into my docker hub and the tag is latest okay then let's scroll down and here in service so first of all i'm going to remove this And here I'm going to enter this service. Okay, so I'm going to enter type node port and the port is 5000. Why? Because we have in this image when we access, we have entered 5000 port number. Okay, the target port is also 5000 port protocol TCP and name is Python chart. Why? Because our chart name is Python chart. That term. Um, Helm chart name. So that's why here I have entered Python chart. So let's save the file and exit. Okay. Now it's time to modify deployment.yaml file and service.yaml file. So let's inside the template folder and let's open deployment.yaml file. Okay. And in this file, let's scroll down. And here in container port, let's remove this values.service port and here. values dot service dot target port okay let's save the file and exit after that next is service dot yaml file okay so in this files we need to change this whole port section so i'm going to remove this okay and here ports Okay, so let's save the file and exit. Okay, we have successfully modified three files, values.yaml file, deployment.yaml file, and service.yaml file. Okay, so let's exit from the whole directory. Now let's clear the screen. Okay, so it's done. Right, now the third step is let's install Python Helm chart on Minikube. Okay, so run the following command to install Helm chart. So the command is Helm install Python dot slash and then your python uh, helm chart name that our helm chart helm chart name is python chart okay so let's copy the command and let's run this command as you can see it's done now you can see the last state deploy namespace status revision and so on okay now let's check the after successfully run our workflow Let's check the pods deployment at service using the kubectl command. Okay, so let's check the pods using kubectl get pod command. As you can see, container is creating and the time is 24 seconds ago. So wait for a few seconds. As you can see, it's done. Okay, our name is Python, Python chart, ready one of fun, status running and age is 32 seconds ago. If you want to check the service as you can see service is python python chart type node port then cluster ip and the port is 5000 and it is 46 seconds ago now if you want to check the deploy you can see and deploy python python chart ready one of one up to date and so on okay that means we are successfully deployed this python app on minikube now, next is if you want to access the Python application on browser. So for accessing the Python application on browser, use the following command, which command this command. But now already our image is in this 5000 port. So first of all, we need to kill this uh, kill this port using this following command, sudo kill and your port number is 5000. So I'm going to kill this port using the following command. Okay, it's done. 
okay it's done now after that let's forward this port okay it's forwarding for, for uh, from 5000 so let's copy instance ip hit on browser and your port number is 5000 now as you can see hello from flask and docker okay that means we have successfully deploy python application using helm chart on minikube okay so thank you for watching and i hope you understand